everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my channel and my craft room. I am really losing daylight out here. It is almost 7.30 on Friday night, um, but we can, we can manage probably. So I have just a couple of really quick... Um, some might even be cheesy uh, crafts tonight, but I thought I would um, hop on and do a couple. So, um, if you are new to Angel Creations, welcome. Uh, hit that subscribe button below and stick around for a little while and... Um, give us a try over here. We have a lot of fun over here. So trying to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers because then I can go live and I am really itching to go live. So share this with your friends if you think that anybody, but anybody else would be interested in it. And so tonight I'm going to do a couple of really, really quick, um, like I said, some might even be cheesy, but they're going to be quick, I promise, and adorable, some of them. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is this pumpkin that you get at the Dollar Tree, and um, they're at every Dollar Tree, and it's every every year, this time of year, they're out there. It's styrofoam, and the trunk, not trunk. The stem is only in with a toothpick, and I have already taken an X-Acto knife and cut out no bigger than my stem, really. Um, and it is hollow inside. And what I am going to do is cover this in a, I like this, it's because it's a little different. This is a scarf that I got at the Dollar Tree and I think they might have had uh, let's see if it's Greenbrier oh my god I'm talking I don't know if it's a Greenbrier because that's so tiny that writing but it is one real thin long piece I don't know how long but probably six feet long but I'm folding it in half. It is very, very thin. And I have a ceiling fan above me. So I've doubled it. Now, let me turn this camera down just a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing better. So now I have, let's get some space. I have my Dollar Tree pumpkin and my Dollar Tree scarf. And I'm doing all of this with Dollar Tree stuff today. All these, all the crafts that we do. Okay, depending on time, we'll see two or three. So I have it doubled, and I'm going to lay it down on my table, and I'm going to take the top layer and pull it over the bottom layer as far as I can without, without un. I want it to overlap, so I don't want to pull it so far that I can see my table. I just want enough of it to overlap, okay, so that I'm actually making my scarf wide enough so that when I put my pumpkin in the middle, it's going to have room on both sides. Look at this is what we're going to do. We're just going to keep stuffing, stuffing, pulling up. Hold on, I lost my, don't lose your little stem. Just going to pull up and stuff it right in. Now let me give you another alternative. If you can't find this scarf, you, this is, I just took the label off this, but this is a Dollar Tree fat quarter. It comes all tight, rolled up like this. And they have it with, next to the felt in the crafter's square um, aisle. Not always. When the fabric comes out, people grab it up really, really quick. But if you're able to get... So you can use any. This is just a square and would be perfect to wrap this pumpkin into. I don't think you could get two out of it, but 
if you have um, one of these or a smaller pumpkin, you might be able to get two. So here's an alternative. So it doesn't have to be the scarf, but the scarf is working out perfectly. So I am just going around kind of pulling and tugging so that it, whoops, when it wants to over or underlap here. So where is, okay, because I don't have it right here. So it, it just has to come, be pulled up over. So I'm just pulling it and tucking it with my finger until it's all up and inside and the best part about this is we're not using a glue gun we're not using scissors we're not we are not cutting this did I say that scissors yeah we are just pulling and tucking right like that okay Pull and tuck, and then we're going to take our little stem. Now, you could paint this if you don't like the bright greenness of it. I just think it's cute. You could wrap it with jute, maybe. Um, there's a lot of things you could do with it, but I think it's cute green. I'm going to leave it just like that. If anything, I would keep it green, but maybe tone it down a little with the antique wax by Waverly. But I don't even want to do that. I want this to be no sew, no glue, no fuss. So two dollars so far. We bought the scarf at the Dollar Tree and the pumpkin at the Dollar Tree, and we're just going to stick our stem. back into our pumpkin and how cute is that? Ah, lost my voice. Those would be cute if you made many. What a cute little pumpkin patch would that be? And how simple is that? And you saved this scarf. You can wear this scarf. You can do many things with this scarf. You can have this sitting around for a week or two and then take it apart and change it up and do it with this one. Or, like I said, make all different ones would be cute too. So that was our first little quick cheesy craft, which is not cheesy, it's adorable. Okay, so we're gonna put that aside. Let's see, what do we have for minutes here? I have an itch at the corner of my nose. It's, it's the ear nose piece. Okay, we're at eight minutes. Okay, wanna see another really cute, cheesy, real quick craft from the Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up one of these, um, what are they calling it? I wanna call it what they call it. I don't know what they're calling it. They're calling it a tumbler with straw, but this to me is a tumbler. <laughs> okay, well anyways, it's a skull tumbler with straw, and it's really nice, it's cute. I would drink alcoholic beverages out of these at a party, that'd be cute, but it's good quality. It has the straw that doesn't fall out for kids which is good and um, you know it has the stopper on it and it's a good heavy plastic let me see I'll show you the thickness I mean like that is it's hard I can't squish that squeezing my finger and thumb I can't squish that that's as much as so it's a good quality I don't know how many ounces it is it doesn't say and if it does it's in tiny writing so my idea for this was, this is what I thought. I was gonna take this straw out, give that to my grandson. He'll think that's adorable. Or maybe we'll find a craft to do with it. It's black and white. <laughs> so I put that aside and then, uh, where is all my things for this? Oh, right here, I'm sorry. Then I took, well actually I have two 
I have two ideas for this, okay? But I'm going to go with this. So this is the solar light idea. Um, but that's the one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to put this one aside for a moment. So I want to end with that one. But this is another idea that you could do. Um, I wish I had... Okay, well, anyway, I don't. So, this is the other idea. When I saw this at the Dollar Tree, all I saw was that size neck. That neck and that size, and I just saw votive. I saw a votive candle, and I thought, well, if it fits, right, how cute would it be if I just tipped this upside down, glued in my votive candle, and then just screw the cap back on, right? How cool would that be? I, I was just thinking I had one that lighted, might light up in different colors and it might be close to me. Let me dig, I think I found it. Um, let's see if I can, all right. So I have to, the thing is, I have to glue this down. This one lights up from the Dollar Tree and it lights up and flashes in different colors. How cute is that? Look, I'm not, it's not glued, but look, how cute would that be? You can see the eyes. It's hard because you have, there's a spotlight on it, but trust me. But anyways, um, right? Now, then the only other problem with this is the button. So, to fix that idea, um, I was thinking you could really hot glue all the way around the neck of this and then put your candle in to one side. It doesn't have to be perfect, just, just glue it in there and then you can turn it on and on. You can on and off. You can turn, uh, put this, so if I do this, it's gonna fall through, but pretend this candle is upside down and you just glued it to mostly one side. As much contact as you can glue it to, gobs of glue, whatever. Um, because this will last year after year. You can get to the batteries and you can get to the switch. So, um, then after that candle is glued in there, you put this back on. And how cool is that? When you want to light it up at night, because it is battery operated. So I don't believe this is on a timer. Look at the old lady reach. I don't believe this is on a timer. This probably is on a timer. Uh, but anyways, uh, squirrel. So my idea was that, and but because that's not what I choose to do with it, my other idea is coming up next. I so told you these were cheesy. Okay, so I bought this at the Dollar Tree, and you probably have some out in your yard. I do, but I if you don't, I bought this at the Dollar Tree, and you can too. So um, what I'm going to do is dismantle it. It's lighting up already. I'm going to dismantle the take the pole part off and leave that, put that aside. Now I have the cover off of, this is another thing that just, I don't know why, it just, it, it, went, it just went together. So um, you take the cover off and put that aside. And then um, I'm, you can, I just want to show you it for other crafts. You can take this piece off too, it twists and it comes out. And that, of course, is where your light is. Let me cover it and see if it lights up for you. Well, actually, it's very dim. It's, it needs to be out in the sun. I'm sorry, but can you see? Well, that's a bummer, all right? It's, it's there, though. Can you see it now? But it's dim. It needs to go out in the sun. All right, so I'm gonna put that back on because what I like about having this is it throws the light. So it's, and it fits right down inside. So I'm, it, I'm thinking it's gonna throw the light in my skull better. So I'm gonna hot glue that right down. So that's gonna sit outside in my gazebo area and pick up some light. And then I found this so fun. This is, I 
put got rid of the tag. I'm so sorry. Um, but it it looks like if you can see, it looks like let me put it down. It looks like barbed wire. Can you see it? It has. Let me see if I can find the end because this can tangle very easily. <laughs> All right. So it has this. I'm already stuck on something. It is really... Now, obviously, it's not sharp at all. That's why I can handle it like this. But it looks just like barbed wire. I don't know how they did it. But, I mean, it looks like rusty old barbed wire that would cut your hand in a million trillion... Alright, so, so much fun. Alright, so I decided I am going to glue this down to here. But first, I think I'm going to wrap some barbed wire. Here comes my co-worker. Wrap some barbed wire around this with the glue gun so that... Um, you're dropping things, Milo. What are you doing? Just because we might have a harder time doing it once the cover is on the cap. So I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. Can you say hi to everybody? Look. Say hi, Milo. Now you get your back to everybody. Be rude. This wants to be with me. Alright, so I'm going to just wrap this around. I'm holding it though because it is it is pretty stiff. So I'm still holding that for a minute. Oh, I did something to the camera. There. It is stiff. Like more like a wire would be. I wasn't going to put it every so close, but it is stiff, so we'll go slow with it. hard out here at night to craft. I really have a hard time crafting out here in the evening. And that is why I don't like to do crafts at night on live. Because I could turn, I have like three lights. Nice big overhead light. I have two overhead lights and two other lights that I could but they don't light enough to amount to really anything. Where'd you go? Alright, let me give another little bit. So it's hard to darken here to me. It almost feels like this may have a little thin wire in it. But either that or this cord that looks like um, barbed wire, either that either has thin wire in it or it's been soaked in something to make it stiff, if that makes any sense. I know they do that. So I'm going to cut this right here because it keeps lining up with the other piece and it's going to all lay on top of each other in one bunch spot and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to end it here and I'm just going to start it again in a moment. But it is tough. It is tough to work with. Obviously I'm not bleeding. It's not like barbed wire. 
but it is fun to work with. All right, so now I'm going to start this next piece over here in a different place so um, I can make it, I can put the barbs where I want them because obviously they're spaced about at least six to seven inches apart, maybe eight inches apart and the neck on this is only a couple inches so I want to um, just put a couple of barbs in a couple Whoop! it is stiff it really wants to be the boss while I'm working with it all right now I'm gonna put I'm gonna probably end this one here dark for me so I think I'll save the other cheesy craft for another day we've been on here 20 minutes might be losing people I hope you've stayed with me and um, if you like what you see go ahead and give me the the thumbs up and all the things subscribe Share with your friends. Ooh, that is really stiff. All right, let's put one more barbed wire where? Like right here on this side. And it's okay if we have... Oh, that's coming unglued. See, it's really strong. It wants to just... We hold it a little bit longer. It wants to just come unglued. Says, I am the boss. And putting that right on. Oh, that's hot, hot, hot. You see me jump? Putting this new started one on the end of the old one, seeing that I had to glue it down again going to use that glue for so um, earlier I was doing an, a live over on Facebook Angel Creations Facebook spelled the same way A-N-J-I-L-L -L, Angel Creations and I was judging up I don't know how to spell zhuzh. I think, I think with a J. I don't know. But anyway, that's beside the point. I was overdoing a Facebook Live and I... Let's see, that's going to stay there. And I um, just lost my total... Oh, I was going to tell you, I was over there doing a live, and I was using a stick that I brought all the way home, a wooden tree stick, like a limb, a tree limb, and I was, <laughs> I was using that in a craft, and I was telling everybody that we don't have those kinds of trees where I live so I had to bring it home from New Hampshire and what the people must have thought at the airport when they saw and I also brought home at the same time <laughs> I'm embarrassed no I'm not embarrassed I'm not all right at the same time I brought home some a little, all right, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> but I, at the same time, I brought home all these sticks from my sister's yard. And I'll tell you why I needed them. Look at on my barbed wire. Um, because I live in a 55 or older park in Florida. And we have... I mean, don't get me wrong. Florida has trees with little sticks and 
tree branches I'm trying to get the but in the woods we don't have any woods where I live like we have palm trees where I live and um, th there's just I can't go in the woods and get tree sticks so anyways I'm sorry to make this a long detailed story what happened something let go hey something let go Oh my word, Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta. Alright, well, we're gonna hold it for another minute. I don't know why. It's not gluing. It's not wire, so it should. It's gonna be really easy though, because once it holds, we're just gonna glue around the top of that. And we're just gonna glue that right on top. And that is easy peasy. And cheesy with barbed wire that you guys cannot see but in person yeah maybe I should glue some down to the skull it doesn't really like the tightness of the cap but we do have some on the cap so let me this piece doesn't want it want it look it wants to spring back it's describe it. Alright, so we're going to add some more glue, and this time we're going to glue it down to the skull. How? It's a hot one. Ow! I hate that. That's why I made this. Hold on, people. Okay. That's going to smart. That's going to leave a mark. Stupid skull. I'm holding this for a minute. Anyways, my sister and I, I was up in my sister's house in New Hampshire, and we were crafting together, and we wanted to get some sticks because we were doing a mixed media barn or church or house or something. So anyways, we were out looking in her yard at, she has a beautiful yard in New Hampshire, and we were out there looking for sticks, and as I'm out there looking, and it was like the day before I'm going home or something, and as I'm looking at all the good sticks, because we were being fussy, because she had a yard full. So we were like, no, that's crooked. Throw that one back, you know. No, that's that's too fat. Throw that one back. We were being fussy. And as I'm throwing all these good sticks back, I'm thinking, oh, my God. I wish I could have some of these sticks at my house because I can't. I'm, I'm crossing my legs. I'm stiff. I can't get sticks like this at my house. So I thought the light went on. No, aha moment. And I thought, well, why don't I just bring some home in my luggage? So then once I decided to bring some home in my luggage, I wanted the longest ones my luggage was. You know what I mean? So that I could, that I could close my luggage and they don't break. Because then I have more options when I get home. I have long ones that I can then turn into medium and short, small, right? So I'm always thinking. <laughs> All right. So anyways... Back to the skull here. So I tell Judy, my sister, all right, that's it. I need to get, pick up some of these and um, bring some home with me. And while I'm at it, he, my her husband is a fenceman. He puts up fences. And so they have a yard full of, he's in his own business, so they have a yard full of fence posts. And I think I have one of these cobwebs from the glue gun in my mouth, but I'm trying to ignore it. All right, so anyways, that's what he does. So I said, well, while I'm at it, I needed some um, post pen <laughs> fence posts because they're cedar. Well, I don't really remember if they're cedar, but they're a different picket than we can get in Florida. The picket in Florida has two curves that cut out of the picket. So it kind of looks like it has a point, but then it's cut out. It's a little fancy. I don't like it. It's not very country looking. 
So, um, I said, well, I can, not only do I want to decorate with maybe a couple of these, but I can craft with them. And I think I'm going to do a craft with them in, in uh, soon, actually. I have one in mind. So, anyways, now me and my sister are trying to pick up, we're pick, picking all the good sticks, and we are over at the wood pile, and we are picking out the one, the picket fence post that will fit. I feel like this is a long story. <laughs> We're picking out the fence posts that will fit in my luggage. So, anyway, it was it was a funny story when I was telling it on Facebook because it was really funny to be there, but I guess it was one of those things you had to be there. And I brought sticks and uh, fence posts home in my luggage to craft with because it's something I can't get here. So any opportunity when I go home to New Hampshire, where is home is New Hampshire for me, and when I have any opportunity to go there, I bring home stuff. I bring back because home is in, in New Hampshire. But when I go home, I always bring back stuff that I can't get where I live now. Okay, if that makes any sense. All right, we're going with that. All the barbed wire is really funny. It's really cute. All right, now I am going to make sure I have another glue gun. I mean, another glue stick. Thanks for hanging in there with me, you guys. If you're still watching, we've been here 30 minutes. We're almost done, and I really appreciate it that you've stuck around this long. My true fans, I have the itch on my nose. All right, so all I'm going to do is, I know this works, it just needs some sunlight, but I'm just going to glue, put a bunch of glue all around the edges. And I'm going to do a lot because I don't want water to get in here, so I'm kind of using it as glue and as a sealer. And that's it. I'm going to stick that down. Hold that down for a minute. And voila! We have a solar light with barbed wire around. And we could probably have put more around, but it's uh, 8 o'clock at night and I have to go have my dinner. But how cute is that? Dollar Tree. All from the Dollar Tree. Listen, everybody, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you all stay well. And don't forget, wear your mask.